So 1510. See how we get on here. What am I actually working on? Looking at the potential for grabbing free gifts. That seems to be something that I need to work on recently. So I'll just block this pawn. So they always seem to be there. And as we said before, it's not just about a free gift for a piece. It's the free gift for opportunities of getting the key squares. Opportunity to put pressure on key pieces. Either lesser pieces or higher pieces. Just put, potentially putting some pressure on them. Missing those opportunities to keep that momentum going. So the free gift covers quite a lot of... Um, going to go here, it's a bit defensive, but it's annoying when the bishop comes here and it's x-raying through to the queen. But we can get castled. Yep, so they've gone for it anyway, so we'll castle. Probably opening up their bishop now. It's not doing that yet, so Queen's defending the pawn here, so if the bishop does take, we don't need to worry too much about losing that pawn. So I'm actually just going to develop the bishop and attack the knight. All the while I'm now just really conscious about grabbing those opportunities where I can. Small piece attacking a higher piece, can't be wrong. Developing the knight would be my usual thing. I mean, attacking here, sometimes you have to be careful because if the brave and the take, take, does open up space around your king. But I do have pieces with my king, so I might be able to get away with it. And also we have the x-ray through, but that's not going to last too long because I think the bishop will come here. So the downside to this particular move, if you'd seen it, but obviously he wants to get castled, is that if the bishop had taken, I suppose our knight could take with them on the pawn and defending, so nothing to worry about there. I had in my brain that if they took, then they were going to win the pawn with their knight, but it doesn't work out like that. So the bishops come defending, um, could be an opportunity, but because the bishop is only on the bishop now, I don't think I'm going to risk doing that. I think he probably might take. Takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. Yeah. Okay, so we've got here. Now I need to find the free gift knight. But then he takes the pawn. Simple pawn. Doesn't look too active, opens up the queen. Not that I'm really wanting to go that way because it's away from my king. Could do this, but I don't really want to open up space around our king. Just play it safe, bring the knight here, attacking their bishop. Pawn is there. I'm going to do the pawn thing first. And then move the knight here, if possible. Right, okay, so I'll move the knight. If he doesn't take, then we kind of get two pieces if the knight takes, but then he gets it, well, he, yeah, kind of gets it back because he's got the support from his queen. But it's not going that way, so we'll capture smaller pieces now, obviously going to attack. Do we actually move the bishop back or not? Could move it here, acting as a pawn, or move it here to have a bit of pressure and bring it back here. When the other, oh, that would be a bit wrong, wouldn't it? If we went there and then we went here. This pawn forks the bishop and the knight. So we have to be careful about that. 
There is a sacrifice as well, but I don't think I'm brave enough to do it. Taking the pawn, pawn takes back, opening up space in front of the king. Knight is protecting this area quite nicely. It's not much give. Yeah, so it was always coming there. So we could take the knight off the board and the bishop takes here. Uh, but he does have a dark square bishop, so it's a good bishop for them because his pieces are on white squares in the centre. Or we come back and act our bishop as a pawn. I think I'm just going to bring it back and act it as a pawn. Obviously we talked it through. They're looking to get the knight, so knight's ready to come here, maybe to jump back here. Or even to here. Now he's doing a similar type thing, attacking Attacking our knight. I can't get my arrow straight. Attacking the knight. So we did plan on moving here anyway. So we may as well just do that. He's got two pieces on this square. So we won't get away with doing that because we'll lose the palm. Slide the bishop back up again and get that diagonal. And uh, no, he's then um, chomping at the bit now to get some activity going because he's championing this square with both his knights. So I think, in essence, we can take it's going to be equal in terms of the pawn capture. And we can take the knight, but do we want to be, um, do we want that exchange? I'm feeling like jumping here, trying not to do what the opponent wants me to do. So that's why they've gone a bit slow now because it's, they they had their plan and it would probably improve their position if we did capture you know the knight back Okay, so we can take and then take is looking to x-ray through to our queen with his rook at some point. And is there anything else? I mean we could push on to his knight to see what he wants to do. And he can jump here or he just goes back. I'm actually going to get the pawn active. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Usually can't be wrong. We've checked out where we potentially can go. Could come here. It's only got a one-on-one -on -one there at the minute. Could get his bishop here to get a two-on-one. -on -one, that type of situation. And then obviously he's x-raying through with his rook. So we have to be mindful of that. Probably bring the queen facing their king. So just preparing our mind. So I don't really think he's going to go back here. I think he's going to come here. And follow, yeah, it's gonna follow something. I mean, we could attack it again, but then it just jumps back again. But it does elevate our pawn further up the board, further towards their king area. We could take the um, knight off the board, brings his pawn into the center. So he's got two pawns against my one pawn here. And then also he's got a passer as well. So it's it's isolated at the minute is this pawn, so if we did take we'd be getting him joined up, so it might be a negative that. So we could come and attack the bishop, because knights hunt the bishops in our mantra, but the bishop can move. And he's got the x-ray through and we're giving him that sort of um, timing. This pawn can push onto the bishop, pawn takes, do do do. So how do we want to play this? Move the queen out of the way first. Mm. 
move the queen out of the way first because it's going to start kicking off and I don't want to lose tempo in. The bishop doesn't have any protection on it though as well. That's the key thing as well, isn't it? So if I do move, move the queen, then the bishop doesn't have any protection. Knight attacks the bishop. Bishop says, no, I'm not having any of that. And maybe goes here, something. We're not happy with that. So we then move the queen here. Let's give that a try. Knights on the bishops. Let's stick with that. And then move the queen across, I think. even just come here couldn't they but we do have a two on one protection once the queen comes here so nothing to panic about I think that's what they're going to do Just putting the queen across. Wonder if they can hear me. Knight doesn't have any protection, so you can envisage that the queen is going to come down, put pressure onto the knight, removing one of the protectors of the bishop. Because the queen has moved, we can take the bishop off the board, so there'll be pieces for free in a sense. They, they can get our knight, we can get their bishop. Or there might be some funky knight move. Hey? Just thinking, okay, I'm going to take Were they getting impatient or am I, you know, I don't like these sort of position. It's more the knights that are more scary in these sort of positions. Where can the jumpy get his blocked there? can take but get taken he can go here or his queen can come here don't mind exchanging in that sort of scenario but if the knight comes here what trouble is it causing it's gone for a smaller piece attacking the higher piece we could ignore it and they could push past or they just take take so he's going to advance his knight down or maybe the queen takes and looking to double up on the knight. Just take. He's moving quick now. He's got something sewn up somewhere. <clears throat> Looks like the open files. I feel I'm getting strangulated. Feels like I'm getting strangulated. Uh, 
Let's face off this rook. I don't know, this just feels like it's um at the minute the knight is not coming here because this knight's got this, so does he come around? My queen is protected by the pawn at the minute. Is he gonna put like a two on one on the pawn with the knight? But if he does that we have a kind of genius fall. Come on, I don't like these ones. Does this knight have a fork or something? Oh, so we go here. What's the, he go, oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that fork. If I take with the queen, same thing. E dear me. That's a little bit clever, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> ah, dear me. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> Let's take. Oh, my word. <laughs> uh, gotta laugh at you. Mm -mm -mm. What do we see? Is there anything? Because it's a nice touch what they've done. I think they're plus one now, aren't they, from doing that? This knight will be in the corner if I let them take that one. If I come behind the rook here, no, that's not going to make any difference. If I bring this rook here, then his knight takes, queen takes, queen's behind the rook, but then this pawn gets taken by their knight, so that's not going to work. So come here, then rook comes down, still defending on the back. I'm going to drop like this. That's a little bit too clever. <laughs> uh. I don't know why they're taking so long, actually, really. Yeah, don't know why they took so long over that particular move there. Oh, never mind, never mind. Queen can take, it's leading. Um, he's going to just double up onto the knight. Or even double up onto this pawn.
Oh, I thought they were plus one after all that fancy stuff. I thought that's why they did it that way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, oh, that's weird. Um, were we plus one then? Maybe we were plus one. Yeah, the queen's down, stacking the pawn here. Uh, da, 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 da. Knee jerk reaction wants to go here, but he's now putting a two on one on this pawn as well as attacking this pawn. It's a bit genius, really, isn't it? A bit, a bit genius. If we went to attack the queen, he's just going to take the pawn. If I bring the rook across, he still can take this pawn here. We could bring our queen here to attack this pawn, but then obviously if he's taking this pawn, we can't take that pawn. But if we come like this, then we're attacking the pawn, protecting this pawn. Maybe the queen takes, then they're going to be on our knight. But I don't think they'll do that because we'll take and we'll be on his rook. And this rook can go all the way across here and is defended. Or is there a way of save? There's no way of saving both, really. Okay, so if we did go like this, his queen's going to be all the way down the bottom here. Bring the knight up, protecting the pawn. I don't think he's giving the so he'll take with his knight. Attack the queen. Or well, he might just take with the queen because it's going to be a pawn up anyway. Interesting. I just moved the knight.
pressure of time.